Dr. and Dr. Um, I think I've talked a little bit um, much about resistance. I've talked enough. So now I'm going to get into types of electricity, okay? First type we've already talked about is static, okay? And it's just charred, right? There's a body and it has all these negative charges, right? It doesn't flow, it's static. The next type is DC or direct current, okay? It, um, it moves in one direction directly, okay? It moves in one direction, right? Um, the electrons will flow all the way. They'll go from the negative terminal all the way to the positive terminal, right? Okay? And it's moving, so it's current, right? The, the last type is alternating current, or AC, okay? And um, in this type, there is no positive or negative term terminal because they're constantly changing. So it, it's, it's going like this, um, right? But the electrons don't make their journey all the way. They only move a little bit, okay? Just a little bit back and forth. And um, alternating current is like um, like this, okay? Standard sockets run at 60 hertz, which means they are co they are uh, go through one cycle 60 times per second. Um, I'll talk a little more about waveforms and waves, but this is what uh, alternating current looks like on a graph. Direct current would just look like um, just like a straight line, unless it's depleting, then it would go down. Okay, but it would never switch polarity unless you switch the lead to the battery, okay? And direct current comes from batteries. Static charge would not show up on here unless there was a discharge and there'd just be a spike up or down, okay? So the only time static ac actually flows is when there's another body. Um, say this one is all negative, okay? If we have uh, an all positive body like this, right? Um they will discharge, okay? But there is no return flow like AC or DC, so it's not current. It's still electricity, but it's not current. Okay, that's just about it for types of electricity.